We have the uh, sunamono, which is different from the. <laughs> Oh no! Sorry, Sorry Stop crying! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know? Okay. Islander Sake Brewery recently moved its operation to the Big Island, but not without leaving part of its legacy behind. That is, a sushi bar manned by Chef Tetsuzo Yao, serving omakase dinners that bring people, food, and sake together. First bites during a recent visit were at Yamaimo with Miyagi Prefecture Uni and an Aloha Tofu salad. Hi, so today we are at Hanalei by Islander Sake, trying their omakase dinner with sake. Sake. Yeah. Starting off with the Junmai Daiginjo. Mm -hmm. And we're Should already polished. We're like already hungry, and so we're on the third course, which Cook is. Yourself. <laughs> I'm having some <laughs> salad. <laughs> which is the washiki beef and smoked salmon. Been marinated in sake kasu and. Shiokoji, so shiokoji being kind of fermented rice with okay. salt and um, sake kasi, the, the sediment, I guess, the sake process. Okay. But they've got a very vibrant yellow American mustard mixed honey mm -hmm. mustard sauce. And what did he say this sauce was? Garlic miso with chili. It's a brown sauce. And it's a, with a little bit of uh, mirin, or sweet sake. It sounds delicious. The, the, so it sounds like you got a little bit of that, that opulent sweetness that's going to come. But the beef has a really good um, aged flavor. Oh, it does? Yeah. I think you know what it is, is that mm -hmm. when you when you put it in the, the fermented components like the sake, mm -hmm. sediment, the shiokoji, so all those fermentation components sort of give a imitation aging mm -hmm. impact. Is that, that, that's what that it flavor. tastes like. So without the long process of mm -hmm. aging a steak. Yeah. Smart. Mm -hmm. Salmon is nice too. It's oh, yeah. like it's light smoke. Yeah. It's not like real heavy duty. It's very delicate. Mm -hmm. So this washugyu. Taste it. It's amazing. Oh yeah. And actually that miso, the garlic mm -hmm. miso, mm -hmm. kind of almost comes across as nutty. Mm-hmm. It's and just as potent as a hundred day <laughs> aged steak, mm -hmm. really. It gives it a little bit of that funk, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. right. Michael Turbo, I guess, I'm guessing. Like, 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 Delicious. Mm -hmm. The beef is so supple. From the and it's got enough of a chew. It's not like Wagyu. Which Wagyu would okay. normally just yeah. kind of yeah. melt and it feels yeah. oily yeah. and rich. The washugyu, because of that black oh, angus it's component it's to it, it gives you a nice little bit of okay. bite and texture. Okay. Yeah, very okay. Mm. More along the lines of a very fatty cut of American mm. steak, which is brilliant. I freaking inhaled that. You did? I'm going to try with like, the... I think that was only like a few seconds. With that almost mm -hmm. aging, imitation aging quality. It's like I'm you're eating a nice steak. Mm. Yeah. That, that miso is so good. So good. <laughs> wow. There's a nice sweetness that comes along with the salmon. Mm -hmm. And that American mustard, the honey mustard really comes very strong on the palate with a briny caper finish. Mm -hmm. The uh, sunamono, which is different from the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Oh no! Different from the typical sunamono, because usually it's like all vegetable, but this is like a green seaweed slash like shrimp and scallop. So, Sorry, Stop crying! <laughs> you don't know? Okay. It's great, she gives me the dirty shrimp. Or the scallop is from Hokkaido. We're not sure where the shrimp is from, so he's an illegitimate, illegitimate shrimp, apparently. But, um, and it's with a it's fresh nori, right? fresh seaweed. Wow. That's really unusual. But the citrus, it looks like a citrus kind of vinegar. It doesn't look like your typical yeah, it's not sunomono. A, it's not a strong <laughs> vinegar. Yeah. Mm. Scallop is delicious. It's so mild. Okay, I'll eat my dirty shrimp first then. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is. There's no miso. It's not citrus, it's miso. Oh, yeah. Which I really like. Yeah, I like the um. But the, the miso is so sweet. The super cold. It's almost like this. 
Yeah. Almost frozen. Passion fruit or something. <laughs> yeah. Some kind of fruity note, yeah? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Some kind of fruity note, yeah? Miso to osu to just like a fruit in a kauri, a passion fruit, like yuzu, yuzu ka. So it's yuzu, miso, vinegar. Then the sushi started coming, so we had to keep up during the course of the evenings, 18 courses. We were so busy eating, we forgot to record. So we have like eaten a lot of sushi so far, but we have been remiss to talk about it because we we're like so engrossed by eating this delicious nigiri. Mm -hmm. Especially all total. Yeah, it's like it's I could just favorite. eat otoro all night. Also, the uh, Hokkaido scallop is so good. Yeah, so and pillowy. now we're on to the yellowtail. From Ehime. Mm. Mm. Ooh, and from so the good. belly, so it has that total richness. So fatty. Oily. See all the oils I'm going to show you? That's why I don't dip my sneeze in the shoyu. Aromai. Yellow mm -hmm. is beautiful. So good. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> but kamasu. And the sauce is just garlic. So I love how I can just your face is too. It's just, yeah. Anyway, it's a garlic soy with yuzuko shoyu in there. So, obviously you don't need to dip it in shoyu because it has a sauce. <laughs> but that's okay. Nadine doesn't mind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. It's delicious. It's torch. Well, how would you? So there's that smokiness. Smokiness. There's a little bit of fishiness. Fatty. Fatty. But that yuzuko so garlic soy is a pungent, mm -hmm. strong flavor. Helps mask some of that fishiness mm -hmm. of the barracuda. Yeah, because barracuda would be usually very fishy. Mm -hmm. But this is like, it's really good. Tachu. Tachu, tachu. Something long tail or big head long tail or something like big that. Big head long tail. <laughs> it is large head, hair tail. That's big close. Big headed, hairy tail. Large head, hell, hair tail. <laughs> I don't think Japanese can say that. I think it's a large head or hair tail. So it's very descriptive, I guess, but I've never seen the fish. Right. Just the. <laughs> so it's not a pretty fish, it's almost pretty stark looking, but. Wait, show it again. I didn't see. Oh my goodness, she's not paying attention. See? Big, big head. Hey, it's not that big headed. It's, I know I know a lot more big headed people. <laughs> but uh, hey, I, I resemble that remark. <laughs> Present company included. Um, but yeah, so and it's oh, uh I have to shoot yours. Oh my gosh, that mine's yeah. Mine was doing. We're so busy doing all kinds of recording, sometimes I forget to see if I even shot it. Oh see I, I didn't shoot my own. So okay. This big head hair tail to this one. Uh, delicate. My whole thing fell apart, so I'm just gonna eat the fish. So garlic soy. Wow. It's a very neutral flavor fish. So in this case the sauce comes out a little bit more. Bold. But it's a supple textured fish. Yeah. All right, we have a second chance oh. because we have a second piece of otoro. Like we just like swallowed the first piece. Mm. My favorite. Okay. I gotta shoot this. This is too. It's also pretty. I just like otoro. And I'll forget the order otherwise if I don't take a shot. Mm. <laughs> it's so beautifully marbled like, like this. It almost looks like wagyu. It's delicious. How many times do you go to a sushi bar and you have otoro multiple times? Unless you order it. But this is actually all part of omakase. And yeah. the chef just said we're going to get it three times. Yeah, so it's a deal. I am I know. For 120. Right? That was amazing. I know. Mm. See, our, our friends here from Vancouver <laughs> agree. <laughs> so you're enjoying the experience? Absolutely. Yes. How did you find this place? What were you looking for? Online research, looking for omakase. Oh, okay. So all omakase on this trip? 
So far, yes. Wow, impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Eat yours yet? Not yet. I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. Oh. Yummy! Oh my god. I can eat otoro all night. It's so plush. Mm -hmm. The oil just immediately releases and it just melts on your Thank tongue. Thank you! Mm. He understands. <laughs> what? He understands what we like. Mm -hmm. We're ready for unagi. Unagi. <laughs> It's a friend's. Ah, uh, you don't even get it. Anyway, it's wasted on her. <laughs> you say that to friends where the way we show goes, Unagi. <laughs> I'm not Japanese, that's oh, why. Geez. But all those friends, they're still friends. Anyway. I don't even watch it that often. Ooh. Mmm. Damn. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. What was the friend's joke? It's an episode of. When he's trying to scare mm -hmm. the girls, but it's, mm -hmm. it's about the art of anticipation. Uh -huh. So you know what to expect an attack coming on uh -huh. because it's, a, it's a, mm. the ability to anticipate mm -hmm. coming on. But he just made up any old word. Oh my god. So in his martial arts world, it was Unagi. Mm -hmm. So lame. That's not worth remembering. It was lame, but it was funny because he didn't know what he was talking about. Oh my god. The art of Unagi. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got this is the last piece for tonight. Oh, sorry, one second to the last piece. So, this is the third round of photo. And this one is going to be slightly seared. We call it aburi, aburi fu, and it's with a mojio, and it's a, a salt from Japan. So you don't need to put any soy sauce on this one. Now, Lady's just too busy stuffing her face with it. So very so good. It's amazing. Mm. It's a delicate. Wow. It's really fine. It's it really delicate. brings out the flavor of the whole photo. Mm. So good. So rich. Buttery. Mm -hmm. mm. I can't. I say don't invite them over. Don't invite them over. I think there is a limit to how much otoro you can eat. It's, it's just so, rich. so rich. You start feeling it in your gut. Yeah. Where it's like, you know. Mm. But I'm happy. It's, it's as rich as uh, the wagyu. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got a clear broth soup here. With awasa or this, this yeah, um, fresh nori, fresh seaweed, and amberjack. It's actually this, this amberjack is taken from local fishermen here off the shores of Oahu. It's actually kind of fishy, but with the ginger scented broth, it, it helps to mask up that, that fishiness and it becomes quite a beautiful dish. And the soup yeah. is just the, op warm. the overall flavor is ginger. Because you got these fine threads of ginger. But oh yeah, so fine. It's beautifully, I mean just very fine. I don't even see it. Mm. But Quite fragrant. it's floating throughout. Mm. It's good to counter all the oiliness of the fish we just had. Alright, now we're on the Ooh. grand finale. Oh, I eat mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so how was it? Mm. So good. The uni is so good and so fresh. <laughs> it was so good with a little dab of wasabi on there. Just, just right. And here as well with this Islander sake. You know, if they bother you that much, I will, 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 I will
the ginjo. I actually have enough spots. The juma ginjo I thought was really nice and very. I think as a drinking sake, I will go with the juma na ginjo because it's fruity and it's a wonderful opulence and it's on a palate. But for pairing with sushi, I like the temperament of the juma ginjo. The, actually, Niri likes the omachi the best, I think. But the sweetness of the juma really pairs well with the, um, with the uni, uni, right? Yeah, it's got the candy quality to it that kind of balances and seamlessly yeah. integrates that sweetness. Really Perfect. good. Really great sushi experience. Yeah. Paired with with chilled sake, made here in Hawaii. But once again, thank you for joining us, and see you at the next restaurant. Bye bye. bye.